Hello, it is 9 a.m. on February 29th, 2016. It is sleep year and I am going to be a tiny bit TMI in this video. Tiny bit. So if you are not interested in listening to me talk about things of that nature, just click away. <laughs> um, I can talk about normal things first and then I'll talk about the TMI stuff but um, normal things what I did this weekend I went on Saturday I had a lovely hike with my sister-in-law and my little baby nephew who is adorable and six months old oh my gosh he's the cutest thing on the planet and my father and we all went for a four mile hike um, it was supposed to be five miles but she was a little bit she was struggling a little bit and she asked to cut it short, so we made it just four miles, which was really nice. And um, it was beautiful out. It was a good stretch of the legs. And it was nice to see my nephew. He is an adorable, squishy little thing. I just, I love babies. So I love spending time with my nieces and nephews since my child is old and <laughs> not cute and squishy anymore. He's 13. Not so cute. Wonderful child, but not so cute. Um, oh yeah, Friday he, uh, my child is epically nerdy, surprise, um, he and his robotics club were in his school's talent show, they had his, the two robots that they built um, dancing to that song Hello from um, Adele, so my son and his robotics team had dancing robots in their school talent show. My child is just perfection. I love him. I could not be more pleased as a parent that I have a bookish nerdy child who likes to program robots in his spare time. <laughs> Perfect child. I won the lottery. Um, and then Saturday night I went down to this really cute little um, quirky movie theater in um, Kensington, which is a part of San Diego, and uh, watched Only Yesterday, which is a Studio Ghibli film, and it is amazing. If you have the opportunity to watch it, I would highly recommend it. It's a little bit more slow moving. It's not as um, fantastical as some of his other stuff, but it is absolutely stunning and wonderful, and I thoroughly enjoyed watching it, and it was actually made the year I was born, so... <laughs> That was nice. It was really fun to watch and I had a, a wonderful time. Um, Sunday I didn't do much except color and watch X-Files, which was awesome, and um, exchange flirty messages with a number of different gentlemen and talk to my gentlemen about the Oscars in quite a lot of detail for someone who has no interest in the Oscars and didn't watch and didn't really care. But he was giving me a play-by-play -play and I was responding to his um, his fills, I guess, and it was a good conversation. So I don't mind that I spent a long chunk of my evening talking about the Oscars, which I have genuinely no interest in. Um, <laughs> I wonder where my child gets his strange side from. Anyway, um, that is all of my non-TMI stuff. So now, starting the TMI stuff. I had an ask on my blog today about... Uh, glass dildo recommendations which I love they were like do you know where I could get a pretty glass dildo and I was like yes yes I do actually I do and they also asked about different um, shops to shop from and um, I recommended two shops that are fabulous and then one online store um, well online toy manufacturer and I'm going to tell you them all too because I like spreading the news so the shops I recommended were Babeland, which is in New York, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I don't know how many of you watching this, all five of you, are in New York, but um, absolutely beautiful premises, open, airy, feels wonderful. You go in there, you don't feel any sort of like ick, you know, like you go to most of those types of shops, and you're just kind of like, ew, it smells gross, and it looks dingy, and there's like scary looking cheapy toys that probably didn't get tested properly and probably will give you cancer <laughs> but this is like a beautiful open facility it's gorgeous I really like it um Babe Land and I bought my pretty glass dildo there so I recommended their um their product which I think is called candy coat candy colored glass dildo something anyways they're all hand blown 
and each is unique and different and mine is just gorgeous. It has hot pink and lime and white like lines going through it. It's just, it's really pretty. I went into that shop looking for a, um, I was, <laughs> I went to visit one of my friends, one of my dear friends, and she's a lovely, wonderful thing who didn't mind me dragging her to a number of different sex shops being like, hey, I'm looking for a flogger. Can we look here? And I found one in, um, was it the purple, purple treasure, I think is the name of the shop. I don't know, which if it is, and you are in that the market for that sort of thing, go to New York, find it. It's amazing. I really want to go there again next time I'm in New York, but I didn't actually buy it because it was just a little bit too long and too heavy, and I wasn't quite sure how I would get it home. And in the end, I just custom ordered some from um, someone I know in Los Angeles, and I'm very pleased with their work. But uh, anyway, I did <laughs> go into the shop, um, Babeland, and then fall in love with this beautiful glass dildo and it has been my possession for four years four years and I love it it's wonderful highly recommend it's a little bit on the pricey side it's $120 but um, think of all the enjoyable use you'll get out of it <laughs> product placement anyway um, the other two shops I recommended were Good Vibes which is in San Francisco and I think a couple of other locations now but um, it's it was it's beautiful. It's once again airy, open. You go in, it's like they have knowledgeable staff. You don't feel creeped on. You don't feel like you should feel shame. It's a wonderful experience. Um, and you can like look at the products, and most of the stuff they have is high quality silicone, and it's not like shady sketch stuff that you're like, I don't know, I don't know if I want to use that because I don't, I mean, because you know, the, the, adult toy industry is all novelty based and so not under the same stringent sort of scrutiny that most things that come in contact with humans are put under because it's for novelty purposes. Nobody's really supposed to use them <laughs> or something. Um, I think it's a terrible loophole and it should totally be addressed but if so I stay away from most things that are not 100% medical grade silicone or like non-porous surface or those jelly things. Those jelly things are terrible. Don't ever buy those jelly things. I mean, buy them if you want, but never use them on anyone except yourself. Or they're kind of like bonded to whomever first uses them because you cannot clean them appropriately. You just can't. And then you run all sorts of problematic risks. So anyway, I stay clear of things that are overly porous and kind of creepy looking. Big sketch. Um, and that brings me to the third one, which is not an actual store location but is an, a, a manufacturer and it's the Fun Factory. I really, really like the Fun Factory. They have such high quality product. They do such a good job um, and it's all, um, you know, 100% medical grade silicone, cool stuff like that. It's, I think they're based out of Germany. I think it's a German site that manufactures it, but you can get them in the United States and they're not very pricey. Like you can get a wide range from like super pricey to not so pricey stuff there and I recommend them so there you go there are my TMI um, adult shop recommendations for anyone wondering and also recommendation for um, really pretty glass dildo have a wonderful day